just did the split, she's 90. 90? Yeah. Hey, but that's gonna be you in like, uh, I don't know, like 84 years? Okay. You're gonna be doing that when you're 90? Okay, so guys, we have a little bit of a surprise here for you. We did something this morning. You might notice where we are in a new vehicle at the moment. We I kinda, don't even. We kind of pulled the trigger on something uh, a little quickly, right? <laughs> What's funny is we just out of the blue decided to go test drive a car for fun, and well, then things just escalated quickly. <laughs> it seemed as so we have had the van for as long as we can remember, and we've loved our vans. We've actually had two different vans, and the kids are now getting to the age where you know car seats and. And convenience is maybe not as necessary, if you will. We switched over to a van when the twins were four. I think they were four years old. That's Ava was a brand right. new baby. So, yeah, that's when we switched over. That's when we switched. So, before that, we drove a Lincoln Navigator. We like Lincolns. I've actually owned a Lincoln sedan, things like that. So, when it came time to graduate from van life, where my kids at? Where my kids to SUV life, we kind of went back to what we know and love, and that is a Lincoln Navigator. So guys. I'm literally driving a newer version of my old car, a black Lincoln Navigator. It's exactly the same, except like 10 years newer. Totally kind of out of the blue. We knew we wanted, we kind of knew in the back of mind we wanted to go eventually get away from the van and go to the SUV. So we want to give you a glimpse of the latest addition to the Bingham household, Lindsay's future ride and transportation. And you guys say goodbye to the minivan because it's gone. Guys, the swagger wagon. In my swagger wagon. Yeah, the swagger wagon. But it's okay. We found new swagger in this car. So we went, I just have to tell this quick story. We went and test drove it. Really loved it. Justin actually bought this without telling me and came home and surprised me. So I didn't even it's say true. goodbye to the van. It was kind of fun though. Kind of a fun surprise. It is true. In fact, <laughs> I will tell that story very quickly and that is we test drove. We decided we thought it was great. Didn't really make a decision on it. Decided to have them hold it though. And then I actually went on a business trip for a few days and then came back and thought, I know this is something we wanted to do, so I thought, I'll just pull the trigger. So I literally drove the van down there. <laughs> you know, worked a good deal, it was a great deal, and just drove home with uh, with this thing. And here. I was like, what? All right, you guys, so we went with the dark kind of brown, kind of this coffee caramel brown interior. Gives it a really, really classy look. It might be one of my favorite parts of this car, this brown interior. And then we opted for the captain chairs back there. I have one less seat in this car than we had in the van. The van had like a little portable seat that you could add into the middle in between the captain seat. This one doesn't have that. So these seats right here might be the most incredibly comfortable seats I've ever sat in in my entire life. Every piece moves separately. And so you can create like the perfect comfortable setting so that it's supporting every part of your back. It's kind of crazy. Even where Lindsay's left hand is, those each roll out to lengthen your seat if you're longer, for example, like me, to make it slightly more comfortable. Ooh, comfy. I didn't think I knew that. So really beautiful sunroof up here. It goes all the way back through to the kids. Something kind of unique actually about this car and really what we're finding out with a lot of kind of like maybe newer cars is that they're going away with TV screens, which we're totally fine with actually. You know, I think the primary function is they're saying nowadays people have their own personal tablets, Kindles, iPads. Everyone's happy just staring at their screens. Whatever it is, this car actually does not have a TV screen, which we again are totally, totally fine with. This is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, so we got the extended version of the Navigator, which is longer than our last one. We had the shorter one last time, which gives us a much bigger trunk space. Really, really good sized trunk back here. Whereas before, the other one literally came to like, probably like right here. And so you had this much trunk space. Very, very small. Yeah, so if I was going to do like a Costco haul, I would have to put down the entire back row of seats. Which at the time was fine, because I drove the Navigator when I had my three boys in car seats in the middle row. We had a bench in our last Navigator. So the reason we loved this this one though is it has the bigger trunk, but it's actually significantly shorter than a Suburban. So it's not really, really long. It's not like a long boat of a car, but it still has all the space inside that we need. Everything is electronic in the car. So this drops the third row down. This drops the second row down. So very quick and easy way to drop and lift up these seats if you need to create kind of more trunk space or just more space in general in the car. Okay, another reason that we were hesitant to move away from the minivan is because it's so easy to get in and out of for Landon. But I actually think 
but this car is easier for him to get into because he's stepping up. He has a yeah. step to step on and his running boards are what make it so easy to get into the car. This whole car has 360 degrees of cameras. There's a camera in the front, there's two on each side of the car, and then one in the reverse to give you a 360 degree view. I got eyes in the back of my head. So here I am in the third row. I am 6'3". There's plenty of space back here. I mean, I'm, I'm close to the top here, right? Plenty of space, plenty of leg space as well. The seats actually here are already pulled back a little bit more just so the captain chairs have a little more leg space. Again, we're not talking astronomical amount, but I'm also 6'3", right? But again, tons of space. Also, I think those seats could be moved forward. Yeah, they do, yeah. Very clean. We love the brown we mentioned. We decided to get WeatherTech mats with it rather than the carpet, just so it keeps it nice and clean. We know it's gonna get dirty really, really quickly. And so these can just pull out and clean really, really quickly. And that way the carpet below doesn't wear. So back here, we've got kind of a rear dash control for media, as well as heat seaters and whatnot for the captain chairs in the back, air conditioning. And then up here, we got ourselves the nice electronic cluster. A lot of really cool features. You can't really see it, but it does have, oh, well, you can kind of see it, I guess, there. The windshield display. It's really cool. So it tells me the time, the temperature, the miles per hour, how many miles I have till I'm empty on gas. And it actually tells me the speed limit for the road that I'm currently on. And then as well as that little square is kind of an advanced lane keeping assist system, kind of an autopilot to a certain extent, not to the Tesla extent, but keeps the car kind of on track, has the adaptive cruise control. And then guys, here's a 360 view. So watch this, when she backs up, you can see all around the car. And so what as we pull out, Annabelle's there or whatever, the sides, etc. It's amazing. It's like a mom's dream because I'm always worried that there's something I'm not going to see. So kind of a cool feature actually we were showing the kids the other night that we're still kind of learning is a self parking. So this parks itself. You click this, it'll recognize a spot or it'll allow you to pull into your own spot and you just honestly let the let the car do its thing. It recognizes the lanes, the lines, etc. And then it'll just back it in perfectly. So it doesn't pull it in forward, it backs it in actually into the parking spot, which is kind of a cool feature. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So now you never have an excuse to ever clip a car. <laughs> Down here we have wireless charging, as well as Apple CarPlay. So it's kind of crazy, it's like deja vu over here because the last time that I drove this car, I had three little, little boys in car seats across the entire row. I've got to find a picture of that for you guys. Baby twins and toddler Turin. And it's crazy how much life has changed since then. Our youngest is now six. What's up you guys? It's Friday and it's the weekend and I'm so excited for summer because it's only the there's only two more weeks left of school. And it's gonna be a big sixth it's grader. It's gonna be a big sixth grader and I'm, that means I'm getting older. And I don't like getting older. I will tell you that much. <laughs> you don't? I think nope. you're the first kid I've ever heard say that. Yeah, I don't like getting older because I just want to stay 11 years old. I don't want to go 12, 13, 14, 15. I don't want to do that because Well, what about your so locker bad. next year? I'm excited for that, but it's just... What about being in middle school? Uh, I'm excited for that too. <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome because then you'll be getting older, then I'll be a seventh grader, and then I'll be an eighth grader. Then I'll just keep going up grades and then I'll eventually come an adult. No, I don't want to think about that. Not yet. Oh, uh, mom. So what should we do for your locker next year? What are you thinking? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you, Miss Mom. You gotta stock it full of your favorite treats, don't you think? Yep. Just like we've done for Turin. Uh huh. I remember the year when you it was Halloween and Turin was in sixth grade and Ryler gave us all Fantas and yeah, all that Ryler stuff. Yeah, helped me that year. That was so fun that year. I loved that. All right, Lando. So tell them where we are today. We're at the ophthalmologist right now to get my eyes dilated and see if they're doing all right and healthy. And I've been coming to ophthalmologist since I was a baby. I've had two eye surgeries. I don't like getting my eyes dilated here because it kind of hurts and you have to wait so long. It does, it takes forever. These appointments are super long.
Is it as bad no, as you no, thought no, it was going to be? Do that. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Oh, shut my eyes. Oh my gosh, insane. Like, how can you see that? You know when you put those drops in the dilate? Yeah. It's like pulling the curtains back. I can see right in through the window, right into your eye. What does my eyes look like right now? I'll show you what it looks like <laughs> in the water. Eva, where are we tonight? Ashton and Landon, a whole fifth grade, tons of fifth graders all over the state are doing an incredible performance tonight. We're so excited. And one of the things that they were the most excited for, Cougar Tails, the giant maple donut. So we're delivering them to their seats. Look at that Hope of America shirt. For America. These two were representing the red stripe on the American flag. Yep. Top row. So dang proud of them. What a cool thing to be a part of, right? Yes. And Landon is just getting a chance to dig into his cougar tail over here. I, I ate it, but I didn't even eat a fourth of it. Because it's ginormous. Huge. So.